Now to a developing story at WKU. Students gathered at Hilltopper Hall this afternoon to discuss moving plans for those soon to be displaced residents. WBK reporter Mason Fletcher was at the meeting today and tells us more about students' reactions to this news. Where are you guys going to go? We're all moving on our own, basically. 388 WKU students living in Hilltopper Hall are being forced to move out of their residence after an email from the university Thursday outlined that students must be out of their rooms by February 4th. Three on-campus options were given and students remaining on campus are incentivized with an additional $1,000 scholarship. The three options for residence halls are McCormick and then there's private rooms in uh, Pierce Floyd Tower is Douglas Keene, um, or you can move off campus and just receive the refund of that spring semester bill. A structural integrity survey being conducted by the WKU Student Life Foundation revealed early findings on January 17th that prompted the recommendation of relocating current residents. The survey is ongoing and no results have been made available to the public. Students were made aware of the survey in October and saw construction equipment that extended the doorway outside shortly after, but were assured there had been no concerns of structural integrity up to that point. Three months later, students are told they have less than 17 days to vacate the property. They showed up about mid-fall of last semester. Um, that is when they were checking out our decorative stonework. Um, I was told that they would put up um, in case a stone did fall, that it doesn't fall on a student while they're walking out of the building. Caboni. Hilltopper Hall residents attended a town hall meeting today in the lobby of their building. Media was not allowed to go inside or record anything in the meeting. No questions about the building survey or the relocation decision process were answered, leaving some students frustrated and unsure what to do next. Some people are very, very upset about it, and it is a huge inconvenience. It's more frustrating because this building was like built in 2018, and it's known as like the nicest building on campus. It's the most expensive residence hall to live in, um, and so for this to happen in the first week of school is really, really frustrating. This is a developing story, and we will have more information as it becomes available. Reporting in Bowling Green, Mason Fletcher. WBKO News. Mason, thank you so much. WKU will host two more town hall meetings in Hilltopper Hall, one this Sunday, January 21st at 2 o'clock, and one on Monday, January 22nd at 4. Any relocation updates can be found on wku.edu backslash housing, and we will continue to follow this story.